Fitbit Versa is one of the most dependable health trackers available today. However, like any other device but occasionally fail, we'll teach you what to do if your Fitbit Versa won't switch on or has a no power issue in this video. First, leave Fitbit Versa to charge longer. If your Fitbit Versa suddenly stops working, it's conceivable that the battery has simply run out of juice. As the battery ages it may store less and less charge reducing overall usage duration. If you use your device frequently you may have just forgotten to charge it. If that isn't the case it's conceivable that the battery just ran out of power. It's likely that all you need to do to remedy the problem is charge the device first. Make sure you charge your Fitbit for at least 30 minutes. This should provide ample time for the battery to charge. During this period avoid interrupting the Fitbit gadget by attempting to switch it on. For new users charging your Fitbit Versa is easy here's how. Plug the charging cradle into the USB port on your computer or else certified USB wall charger. The charging cradle uses a spring clip to hold Versa in place while charging. Pinch the spring clip and place Versa in the charging cradle. The pins on the charging cradle must align with the gold contacts on the back of the watch. The connection is secure when the percent charge appears on screen. While the watch charges tap the screen to check the battery level. Next, check if the charger is working. In certain situations, a Fitbit Versa may not switch on at all if it cannot charge due to a faulty charger. If you see signs of damage to the cable adapter or pins you should replace the charging accessories. A charging cable or its adapter at the end, like the primary device itself might break. If you have another Versa try charging it to determine if the present charger is functioning or not. If the second Versa isn't charging as well as the first it's time to change the charger. Next, restart Fitbit Versa. Your Fitbit Versa is a little computer and like any computer it might develop faults for a variety of reasons. Even if your Versa is fully charged some flaws may prevent it from booting up or turning back on. As a result, rebooting your Fitbit may assist in resolving the issue. Make sure to restart it by doing the following. Press and hold the back and bottom buttons until you see the Fitbit logo on the screen. For Fitbit Versa Lite Edition hold the back button for 10 seconds. Let go of the buttons. If your Fitbit won't turn on turn it off and turn it back on. If nothing else works and your Fitbit Versa still won't switch on the next step is to factory reset the gadget. This will erase all data unfortunately there is no method to back them up at this moment because the gadget must be operational. This implies that any safe data that hasn't been synchronized to your Fitbit account will be lost. To do this, on the watch hold all three buttons for about 12 seconds. This triggers the two-button hardware reboot after about 8 seconds. When the Fitbit logo appears then disappears release the bottom right button. Then continue holding the left button and top right button until you feel a strong vibration. This indicates the factory reset was initiated. This process may take several seconds and eventually the Fitbit logo appears in the device boots and displays go to Fitbit.com setup. If you fail to release the bottom right button in time or otherwise don't follow the procedure precisely the Fitbit logo reappears quickly and boots without factory reset. Lastly, get help from Fitbit support. If your Fitbit Versus still does not turn on after a factory reset, you might suspect a hardware problem or a more serious issue. In this case you'll need to get assistance from Fitbit so that they can analyze it. We hope that this guide has been helpful. Please support us by clicking like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more troubleshooting videos.